In this video, we will solve some problems on bending equation. So the first problem is. Uh, let us go through it. A simply supported beam of span 5 meter. Uh, meanwhile, I will write the. Data given in the problem. It's a simply supported beam of span. Span is given L is equal to 5 meter. In terms of millimeter, it is 5000 millimeter. Has a cross section of 150 mm by 250 mm. It's a rectangular cross section. With dimensions 150 by 50, which is nothing but B is equal to 150 mm and depth of the beam is 250 mm. If the permissible stress is 10 Newton per mm square, means the permissible stress F is given as 10 Newton per mm square. density of UDL it can carry UDL W per meter length we need to find and maximum concentrated load P that is applied at two meter from one end it can carry okay so we have to find the magnitude of the force P as well okay so this is the given data okay and it's a simply supported beam now we will write the bending equation we know that m by i is equal to f by y okay we'll take only the first two relations one more equation is there that is e by r that is not required in this case okay m by is equal to f by y correct so moment of inertia we can find dimensions are given y is nothing but distance of the extreme fiber from the neutral axis that also we can find f is directly given in the problem substituting all the values we, we can find the moment okay now we'll find one by one i is equal to for rectangle formula for i is bd q by 12 b is how much 150 into 250 cube divided by 12. What is the value we will get? 150 into 50 cube divided by 12. How much it is? 195.312 into 10 power 6. 195.312 mm raised to 4. Okay. Then y is nothing but distance of extreme fiber from the neutral axis. Okay. If you take the rectangle, so for rectangle neutral axis will be at the centroid. So distance of extreme fiber will be at a distance of d by 2 from the neutral axis. Okay, so y is equal to d by 2 to t by 2. We will get answer as 125 millimeter. 125 millimeter. Then F is given in the problem only. How much it is? F is given as 10 Newton per mm square. 10 Newton per mm square. Okay. Let me call this as equation number one. I will rewrite the equation number one as equation one becomes M is equal to M is equal to F by Y into I. Okay. Now you substitute all the values. F is 10 Newton per mm square. Y is 
125 mm and moment of inertia is 195.312 into 10 power 6 by this you will get moment correct so into 10 divided by 125. So the answer is 15.625 into 10 power 6. 15.625 into 10 power 6 Newton millimeter. Okay, now we will solve the first question. What is the first question? Maximum intensity of UDL it can carry. First question. Maximum intensity of UDL the beam can carry it. We will solve this question first. OK. Now, in the problem, it is said that it is a simply supported beam. We have to find maximum intensity of UDL that the beam can carry. W per meter length. L is length of the beam. Okay, we know the moment. Okay, 15.625 to 10 power 6. For UDL, the formula for maximum moment, we all know that it is WL square by 8. Correct? So we know that M is equal to WL square by 8. M is known substitute. Say 15.625 to 10 power 6. 15.625 into 10 power 6 is equal to W into length of the beam. We have written it as how much? 5000 millimeter. 5000 square divided by 8. By like this, you will get intensity of UDL. Okay, 15 power 6 to 5 to 10 power 6 into 8 divided by 5000 square. So the answer is 5 Newton per millimeter. 5 Newton per millimeter. Or in terms of kilonewton meter, it will be by kilonewton per meter. Okay, this completes the problem. Okay, uh, uh, this completes the first question. Now we will solve with the second question. Maximum concentrated load P applied at two meter from one end it can carry. Second uh, question. Maximum intensity of concentrated load P applied at two meter from one end. Concentrated load P applied. at 2 meter from one end. OK, now we will take the same simply supported beam. OK, he says that the force P is applied at a distance of 2 meter from one end. 2 meter means 2000 millimeter. OK. The total length of the beam is 5000. Okay. So 
this remaining length becomes 3000 millimeter. Okay, for this uh, kind of uh, uh, loading case, means if a beam is subjected to load P at a distance, let me take this as A. This has length B, okay? Uh, it will be the uh, bending moment will be W A V by L. Okay, we will, we will utilize the same formula for this case. Maximum moment is equal to W into A into B in divided by L, where A is equal to 2000 millimeter and B is equal to 3000 millimeter. Okay, so M is how much? 15.625 to 10.46. 15.625 into 10.46 is equal to W into A 2000 into 3000 divided by 5000. Okay, so we'll solve this. 15.625. Fifteen point six two five into ten power six ten power six into five thousand divided by two thousand into three thousand. The answer is how much? W is equal to it is thirteen thousand twenty point eight newton. Thirteen thousand twenty point eight newton in terms of kilonewton. It is. 13.020 kilometer. Okay. So instead of uh, uh, here, I have taken uh, WAP by L, uh, nothing but it is P only. Okay. No, I just changed the rotation. Let me correct it now. No problem. Instead of uh, writing it as P, I have written W. It will be PAB, PAB, P. Because in the problem, uh, he asked uh, with the notation P only, I am changing. P is equal to 13.020. Kilonewton. Okay. So this completes the problem.